For today's tutorial, we're making DIY Dollar Tree toasting flutes for wedding. I'll be using crystals and pearls, rhinestone garlands to decorate these glasses. Before you go, please check out these other wedding DIYs I have on my channel. I'll link them to the end of this video or you can click my name below. So let's prepare a champagne glass for spray painting. I'm going to be using my masking tape and I'll just rip small pieces to make a circle going around the base. and that's as straight as I can get it. Now I'll just use a piece of printer paper and I'll wrap the rest of it so the spray paint won't get on the inside. I just wanna say thank you to all my current subscribers. I appreciate you guys so, so much. If it's your first time visiting my channel, my name is Nisi. Welcome to the channel. The channel is Budget Friendly Creations. I hope in today's video you'll find a reason to stick around. Subscribe to the channel if you find it interesting. Please check out my other DIYs. Just click on my name below, Budget Friendly Creations, and you can see everything that's on my channel. Check it out. If you like it, please subscribe. And I'm going to ask you a favor. Please give me a thumbs up. That will help me greatly. Thank you. Before I spray paint it, I'll use alcohol on my clean microfiber glass cloth and I'll just give it a good wipe. To spray paint the stem of my champagne glass, I'll be using Rust-Oleum Metallic Champagne Gold. And I'm just giving it light coats. And you want to allow this to fully dry overnight. I'm going to go ahead and start to decorate my glass. I have this brooch. I'm just going to use my pliers to take off that hook on the back so I can use it to decorate my glass. My paint is not fully dry, so I'll just attach this glass to the base so I can handle it while I'm decorating. I used acetone to clean up my paint line and I brought it down a little further. To attach my rhinestone, I'll be using E6000 and a little hot glue to hold it in place while the E6000 dries. I have different sizes of these beautiful pearls and that's what I'll be using to decorate my champagne glass. I'll have a full list of all the items I'm using in the description box below. It's below this video so you can check them out if you'd like to purchase the items. And if you use my links to purchase your items, it will be at no extra cost to you and it will help to support my channel and I'll really appreciate that. Thank you. I'm just going to use my dry erase marker to outline where I want my design to be. And I'm just drawing a teardrop shape and I want it to meet the brooch in the back. It's actually, it could be for the back or the front. So whichever direction the glass is, then you're seeing something pretty. I'm just going to be using my tweezer to apply my pearl beads 
but if you're going to be doing a few of these you might want to get one of those little pick me up tools it will make things a lot easier And I'm just applying them in a gradient design with the larger ones at the base. And the right tools make things a lot easier which I don't have they also sell small bottles that you can put your um, glue in and it will just give you a dot of glue I'm just using the back of my tweezer and I'm putting my smaller beads um, in random spots on the outskirts of my design Let's move on to the second design. I'm also using a crystal brooch. I'm just using my pliers to bend it a little so it can form the shape of the glass. And this one will be a heart design, so I'm just using my dry erase marker to outline my design. I'm starting with the larger pearls and then it will gradually get down to the smallest. I'm going to be using my crystal garland to outline my design and I'll be adding that on the outside and the inside of the pearls.
and I'll also add a small heart on the inside with my rhinestone chain. And I'll just add one of my large pearl right there. And you can make this design however you like. This is just an idea. And I'm just going to go around the paint line with one row of my crystal garland. Now let's move on to the third and final project. These glasses, they're not from Dollar Tree. These are um, my crystal glasses. They're actually vintage. So I'm just going to show you another design on them. I'm going to use my crystal garland on this one. You gotta be very precise with this one and make sure that all the lines are correct. So I'm just using my tweezer to apply it right around the base. And you want to get that first row lined up properly because that's going to determine how the rest of the glass will look. So I'm just going to make sure it's nice and neat and then I'll just leave it for one hour to set so I can have something to work with. After one hour it was tacky enough for me to just continue going around. And I'll just cut my garland here. It's about one third of the glass. And I'm just using a piece of tape just to hold it in place so I can continue to work with it. Then I'll use my pliers to cut singular pieces of my crystals and I'll just attach them in random spots. I'm going to need your help. I need you to help me decide which of these three looks the best because I have a fourth design that I'm going to be sharing with you guys. I have to make a set for my friends so please help me decide which of these three looks the best, okay? Thank you so much. Thank you so much for tuning in this week. Please click on the screen to watch my wedding centerpieces and I'll talk to you next Friday. Bye bye.